Hey guys and welcome to today's craft. I hope you enjoy and how I decorated this bowl for my bathroom. So you'll need a glue gun, some tweezers, a pair of scissors and a mixing bowl. I picked this one up from Poundland. I wanted something that was clear so you could see the wool through it. And then I also picked up two of the chunky wool from b and This is 2 99 a ball. And they've got them in different colours. And then I'm also using some gold ribbon. This is from Poundland. It's a pound a roll. And you don't actually get that much on it. It's quite a lot of cardboard underneath the ribbon. So originally I only bought three. And in the end I needed six stroke seven to do the whole bowl. And then you'll need um, a mixture of foliage and leaves to decorate it at the end. So I'm just going to tie the two balls and one of the packs of the gold ribbon together in a knot and then I'm just going to braid or plait the wool and ribbon together until I get a fair amount in length. Like I said I ended up using six in total so it takes a little bit of time to do but I just did it while I was watching TV. So I've done a couple of meters now and I've still got more to do but I'm just going to start to glue them onto the bowl and I'll show you how I did this but I'm really happy with how it's looking with the gold through it and yeah we can start. So I'm not going to do the inside of the bowl so I need to do the bottom. If you're going to do the inside of the bowl as well you probably don't need to do the bottom because you won't see it. But all I'm doing is just taking a decent amount of hot glue and I'm just going to start in the centre. And I am going to glue the wool all the way around. You will use a fair amount of glue sticks doing this but I just love the effect and yeah I love doing this. Um, I've got one more project that I want to do this um, with the plaited wool on and I think I might do that this week or maybe next week i'm not too sure but i'm just working my way around adding glue and i'm pulling the plaited wool um, tight so that obviously you get more coverage out of it and yeah we're just going to carry on working around so i'm going to show you how i finished the end of the bowl off so there is a slight gap. I need to do one more row three quarters of the way around and I'll show you how I finish and attach the wool. So I'm just going to trim with a pair of scissors. And then I'm just going to take the glue gun and I'm just going to completely cover the end of the wool. And then all I do is take the back of the tweezers and I just flatten it down into place. And then to start it off, I'm just going to go to where the gap is that I need to cover. And again, I'm just going to use the glue gun and cover the end. And then again, and then again with the end of the tweezers, I'm just going to push that into place. And then I'm just going to glue around till I get to the end of where I need to fill. And then again, just cut with a pair of scissors and use the glue gun and glue it into place. And this is how I attach um, two pieces of braided or plaited wool together you know when I get to the end of one section and I'm going to start another section I do exactly the same thing 
I glue one down, use the back of the tweezers and push it into place. And then I'll cut the end off where I started to plait or braid and then glue that down and do exactly the same thing so it forms a joint. And then once the bottom is completely done, we can start on the sides. And then I'm just going to work my way all the way around the bowl up until we get to the top and I'll be back once I've done that. Right guys, so I've done all around the sides. I'm happy with how it's looking. I still need to add a little bit around the bottom at the end, but I'm just going to, now that I've got to the top, I'm just going to glue underneath and I'm going to go all the way around the top under the rim of the bowl and then I'm going to go around the outside of the bowl around the edge and then around the top and I'll be back once I've done that okay so I've done around the top and round the side and I'm really really happy with how it's looking and now I'm just going to carry on a little bit into the center so I'm going to go down a couple of centimeters into the middle and I'm just going to carry on and then I will finish it off but I'm really happy with how it's looking. Like I said, you can do the inside if you want. I'm not going to bother because I'm going to be putting bath bombs in this. So I'm going to want to be able to clean it out once I've obviously had stuff in it that's probably spilled or crumbled. So yeah, I'm not going to fill the center of it. But if you want to, if you're not going to use it for anything like that, then it would look really nice if it was all the way down to the bottom. So it's up to you. But yeah, I've done around the outside and I've just added a piece around the bottom to finish where there was a gap and I went down about two centimeters and I'm really happy with how it's looking. And I've just making sure making a note of where the join is because I want that to be at the front so you don't see it. And yeah, we can start to decorate it now. And obviously you can decorate it in anything that you want. If you want to do a fall one, you could do it with pine cones and orange flowers and make it really nice and fall-like. I'm just gonna obviously use white and green. I'm gonna use green leaves, white flowers to match my bathroom. And then I'm gonna use some of the gold sparkly stuff that I get from the market. And I'm going to actually speed this bit up so that you can see what I do. But I'm not going to add much to this, guys, because I really just like the effect of the wool. So I think all I'm going to do is add two green leaves at the back, one of the large white flowers, and then a bit of the gold sparkly stuff that I get from the market and i've also got these i forgot i had these but i bought these from the market and it was um it was one pound for three of them so i think i'm going to pop one of them on but i'm just using hot glue to stick them into place and it sticks really well to the wool so you don't need that much and i wanted something at the back and just a little bit of decoration at the front So I'm just going to pop two leaves down and then add one of the flowers. And again, I'm just using hot glue from my best friend, my glue gun. So that's how it looks up to now. And then I'm just gonna add some bits of the gold sparkly stuff that I've got. And you really could put as much on this as you want. You could go around the whole of the rim of the bowl if you wanted, but I just wanted to match what I've got, something that I've already got in my bathroom. So I didn't wanna put too much on it.
right and I'm happy with the back so now I'm just going to have a play with what I want on the front but I'm happy with how the back looks and like I said I don't want to completely cover all the wool but I've decided I'm just going to pop a little bit of the gold on and I might pop one of the butterflies on as well again I'm just using hot glue to do this and then I'm going to do this off camera and I'll take you into the bathroom so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Hey guys, so here it is. This is it finished. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm still undecided about the glow butterfly, but I wanted them to match my boxes that I did in a previous video. I will link it in the description so that you can see how I did them. But yeah, I wanted this for all my soaps and bath bombs and things like that. And the reason that we're in the bathroom is because on this table, I've got a couple of candles. I've got some flower displays that I've made in one of my first, I think it was my, my second or third video I ever did on this channel and my birdcage. And this bowl is actually going to sit underneath the table just here like so. So I'm really happy with how it looks. I can put all my stuff in it and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you on Wednesday for the next one guys. Take care for now. Bye.